All right, it's Sunday, July about 11th. I'm here with Dad today. Hey, Dad. Good morning. And uh, after doing a massive cleaning on the shop yesterday so that we could actually find parts of 7, we're now ripping her apart. Uh, we've got uh, our, our DC to DC converter out, the control panel on top, and we're working on a fuse box in front right now, uh, removing some of the stuff from it. What we're trying to get at here is, as everyone knows now that's been following us, the transmission, which is hiding right down there. Now, a lot of people think that it's the fact we use a metro transmission that's where our problem is coming from. Uh, we're pretty sure that it's the clutch that was slipping on us, and we weren't really having an issue with the transmission. After speaking to a, a few experts on the subject, um, namely... Uh, me, myself, and the other guys on the team, Dad, Nate, Thomas, uh, George, Josh, Jen, you know. And uh, we're going to rip into her day and find out if our, uh, our clutch actually did spin. Uh, we'll be taking her out, let you guys see it as we do it, if I remember to click the on button on the video. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, talk to you in a few. All right, it's been a real long day. Uh, let's see here. George and Dad are working diligently on trying to get the motor and transmission out. Nate's over here. He's been searching for hours for this one connector we need. So what is it you're searching for, Nate? Marvels. Wow. He's been working on it a long time. I think George is still in here. Yep. I think it's in there further, George. A little bit further. Where is he trying to get anyway? I'm to I can't even it. get the camera in there. Well, there's well, no room. <laughs> have fun. Okay. Well, we're getting there, guys. Okay. All right, we're pulling the uh, motor and transmission assembly. Right, start uh, it's a very it tight fit. Uh, Move. Yep, yes, yes. Right. Oh, we're dripping fluids, too. There's a lot of dirt in there. Oh, wow. Look in here. Yeah. Look at all this stuff. All nice and nice That's and all. Tiny. It's oily. Grease. It's full of grease. Should be nice and dry and shiny. And it did that when it was spinning. Okay, well, let's take this off and, and see what the flywheel looks like. Okay. With your finger, Dad. Yeah. Is that covered in grease too? Well, it's going to be, but it's... It's hot. It's been blued. See it? Mm hmm This is discolored. But we shouldn't have had the grease in there. Why? Right. <laughs> yeah, that's all discolored. Yeah, that's on the transmission, transmission side. side. But was it hitting on the transmission side? The throw up bearing? It has to be a throw up bearing. Yep. That's what made the awful noise the first time we engaged it. It's right there. But you see those springs on the other side? They're worn flat. That shouldn't happen. I know. The only way those wear is if these pads are too thin. Let's, let's but see. they were, they're almost as thick as they were to start let's with. Let's see if it looks like they're wearing pretty even. So, oh, and that's about as thick as they were to start with. These springs, this, it's not quite right. Yeah, these springs aren't put in there right because not all of them are worn and. Okay, quick summary real quick of what we found inside the uh, transmotor, uh, transmotor, the transmission and uh, motor hookup. You see the bluing or the discoloration on the flywheel that was from the, uh, the flywheel spinning on the, uh, the pressure plate. Uh, we, weren't, we had too much torque or, or we didn't have enough friction uh, in order to stop it from spinning and that's where we're losing our energy and what was at least one of the things giving us difficulties for the acceleration event. Uh, you can also see the oil pattern uh, around the, uh, the aluminum flange that hooks the, the motor to the transmission. And you can see it inside the transmission. 
lots of oil. That actually is, if I can find it here real quick without making everyone sick, grease from inside this throwout bearing. It was brand new. Uh, the first time, or one of the first times we engaged it, it actually had an alignment issue. And I don't know if you can see it here. Instead of just push pushing on the fingers of the pressure plate, it pushed past that. The surface here along the bearing seal, the bearing race, actually came in contact with our pressure plate. And you can see like this little bump here. That's metal. There's more of it around here where it's shiny from the throwout bearing when it rubbed on this piece. Um, so that actually broke the seal on the throwout bearing. And the throwout, the grease from in the throwout bearing, you can also see there's bluing on the bearing. Uh, the grease, the bearing got superheated or heated at least to 700 degrees and the seal on the, uh, the bearing was destroyed and when it got heated up the grease turned into a liquid and it sprayed all over the inside of the bell housing and on the uh, clutch and flywheel. It looks like it did burn off based on the surfaces of the, uh, the clutch um, but it was slipping because of that and also we did not get enough pressure between here and the flywheel. So that's a basic, the basic summary of what happened. Um, we're going to now permanently affix uh, the, uh, the, fly, or the pressure plate to the flywheel. We're going to drill out these rivets that hold down the friction material and line, align them and tap, drill and tap into the flywheel and bolt this permanently to it. The, any shock that we get through the system should be taken up by the springs that are built into your pressure plate assembly. Uh, we're going to give it a go and see what happens. Obviously, we can't break it worse than we already have. Later.